Hi, and welcome to the tour video of Obi, my wandering outback. This video is the first of two tours. This one focusing on the inside build, all the features and things I put inside to make my wandering more comfortable. As said before in other places, I've set this up to where I can sleep inside the outback if the weather's not ideal. But in the rooftop box, I carry a full campsite and I will defer to sleeping in that when the weather's nice. So let's get started on the tour. First off, looking from the inside, here's a quick snapshot and we'll go through all of the things in detail. One of the things I've done is rigged access to the rear hatch release, that's that hole in that little panel, because my trick when I leave the hatch open to keep the battery from draining, I put in this carbiner and that fakes the system into thinking the thing's closed so it doesn't use any power waiting to find out. Then the little release inside I use to release that carbiner so I can close the hatch. So let's talk about the bed first. It's built on a platform of three quarter inch birch. It's set up from the base because I use that to create a slide out for a table. You'll see that in other videos, particularly on the working video and on the kitchen video. The little hatch in the top is for this. I can push the bed back and now I have access to the hatches. I can take them out and where the spare tire once was, it's now carried in the roof box. There's a tremendous amount of storage. I keep seldom used things down here, including my pantry, basically. Food that I won't use for the day or the next day. Next, in the kitchen area, is this little extra shelf. Comes in very handy for cooking and doing other things. And the kitchen cabinet side also has a slide that I use primarily for my stoves to cook things on. And between the pullout and the ledge, I got plenty of room to make a meal. In the kitchen cabinet is a drawer, quite a large drawer. And in fact, my entire kitchen is inside of this. And in a future kitchen video, I'll pull all this out and show you just how much I actually get inside. Above that is my water supply and a little nesting box in which my one plant rides here, plus seasonings, plus my water and vinegar sprays, which is how I use to clean dishes. This is the water system. It is held in by a pin and it's on a sliding tray. And the way it works, the jug, which is two and a half gallons, is strapped in so it doesn't move. I have a little plastic cap under here so it doesn't drip while it's in position for traveling. And then of course I can then fill a jug or a pan with water. With the bed still up, I'll show you these other parts. These first two cubby holes have netting to keep things in. And this is where I keep my dry foods and coffee and tea and such. Above that is a fan, 12 volt fan that I dearly love that is plugged into my Jackery. And I use the Jackery on off switch to turn it on. Two-speed fan, built in Canada, terrific. Link for that is in the video description, as well as link to everything else in here. Top of that is a open, long storage area that I use for any odd-shaped things. Generally, it's the window coverings from WeatherTech I used to stash up there. Going to the side door and stepping inside, this is the main entrance I crawl into, and I mean that literally. And there's various things you see. Yes, that little blue thing is my nightly pee jug. I'm a guy and old, so what can I say? I use the under storage there for shoes, largely. And then up in the back here, in these other cubby holes, I have two covered areas. This one is where I use to store all my electronic gear everything except the drone, extra cables, my external hard drives and so forth. And then this other cubby hole 
is my personal things, my DOP kit, my vitamins, things of that nature. Down below, electronic storage is my Jackery 240. I use this primarily to run the fan, the light, recharge things, etc. Plus, it's so handy and portable that I will take it outside at a campsite and use it to run the laptop and so forth. Next to the personal item storage is my AT&T Nighthawk. Actually, it's a Netgear Nighthawk uh, Wi-Fi router. I have an extensive data plan of 100 gigabytes on it, and I use it to connect my iPad, MacBook, etc. while out. Then over here is my stationary rack, in which I keep a few books to read, my journals, which are out outside being used this morning. But it's a handy way to keep a few things ready at hand. I have a small Kindle for reading in here as well. And speaking of reading, at night I have this reading light that I can turn on and isolate the light and read by that. Going over here is where the refrigerator is normally stored. Right now I'm waiting on the replacement refrigerator because it went out and so I've just got a nice chest temporarily there. Besides that, there is a large lithium battery behind this panel. This was a CaliPak, which is no longer in business, and it's a 384 watt hour lithium battery, and it's pretty much dedicated to the refrigerator, although I do recharging off it as well. I also have a small control panel here in which I can run a cigarette lighter, type USB, 12 volt, all sorts of manner. And then of course my pencil and pen storage. Very important. So that's the cabinetry. Now let's look at where I store things, particularly clothes. I've set this up so that the head of the bed section is on a piano hinge. I can lift that up to reveal my clothes storage. In here I carry seven days of clothes, which is my experience previously traveling is about the right length and then I go do laundry every seven days and so forth. Also back here you'll see this little gizmo. This is a latch setup I made to where I can raise the bed at night for reading. Now let's go to the driver's side back door. This is where I access the refrigerator and as explained it's in route from California but this temporary ice chest is where it usually is. I do travel with a fire extinguisher, hooks for umbrella. I also keep one of these. These are extremely handy to have at a campsite when you need a third hand particularly. A little uh, fruit net and then underneath is an amazing amount of storage. I have my backpack under there. I have three coats. I have toweling. This is my little coffee shop writing bag I travel with. And then I have under here two gallons of water as my back supply of water. If I get delayed filling up the two and a half gallon jug at the back. So that's the tour of the inside of Obi. If you have any questions about where I store this or do I carry that, please comment below. Otherwise, please subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you in the next video.